So here we are, it's 20 freaking 14. There's driverless cars, there's hover bikes, there's amazingly powerful mini computers in our pockets, and I'm still plugging mine in with an actual cord, like some sort of chump. Psh, it's time for an upgrade. Wireless charging has been around for quite a while now, and in this episode, we're going to look at a couple methods, including Qi inductive wireless charging, as shown by the Qi Stone Plus and Coolpad, made by Phone Salesman, and Patriot's new Fuel Ion Magnetic Conductive Charging Line. It's about to get ductive in here. Office 365. Get work done anytime, anywhere, and on any device. In addition to one terabyte of OneDrive storage, also receive 60 Skype World Minutes per month to over 60 countries. One of Nikola Tesla's many accomplishments was demonstrating that electricity could be transferred wirelessly via resonant inductive coupling, which is what happens when you have two electromagnetic coils tuned to the same frequency. This is how Qi charging works, as well as other less popular wireless standards like PMA and resonance. However, those methods tend to charge a little slower than wired energy transfer, as some is lost in the process. What Patriot has going on with their fuel ion line is conductive charging, which is still wireless in the sense that there's no wires in the charging part, but power is actually still transferred via metal contacts on the back of a phone case instead of through the air. This means you don't lose as much energy. Uh, Patriot actually claims it's just as fast as a wired connection. We'll get to these, but first let's talk about the Qi products. So what we have here is the Qi Stone Plus, a 4,000 milliamp hour power bank that can charge devices and be charged itself wirelessly or using a cord. It's made by a company called Phone Salesman. Yes, Phone Salesman. Don't ask me why they picked that name, just... I don't know. Regardless of who makes it, the Qi Stone Plus is actually a pretty cool product. The market is saturated with power banks up the yin yang these days, but then here comes one that can be charged and charge other things wirelessly. It has the regular micro and full size USB ports as well, so you can charge two phones at the same time, one with the cord, one wirelessly, or charge the stone and a phone, charge another Qi Stone. The possibilities are endless. Okay, not endless, but but you get the idea. It also doesn't look bad. It's got this speckled rough texture that resembles a stone, so that's kind of cool. Phone Salesman also offers a number of just straight up charging pads, like this one, the Cool Pad, which you can actually put the Qi Stone on and it, it will charge. Now these are charging adapters you can put in your phone to enable wireless charging. There's not a ton of phones on the market that come with Qi charging enabled uh, as part of the stock configuration. The Nexus 5 uh, does come with that, actually. These are for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and S4. Uh, there's also one for the S5, I believe. And all these do is you take the back cover of the Samsung phone off, you put the card in, and that will enable you to use any Qi-enabled uh, wireless charging solution with it. Now this one, the iQi Slim Power Card, uh, is made for the lightning port on an iPhone or iPod. You gotta plug that into the port and then you can wrap the pad around the back and then they tell you to put a case over that so that you have it with you all the time and you can charge uh, on the go. It's not the most elegant solution for wireless charging, but I mean, that's the way Apple plays it. They don't really have a back cover to take off. Now, as I said, Patriot has gone with conductive charging rather than inductive charging. And they've also put magnets in all their wireless charging accessories. So what we've got here is a magnetic wireless charging pad, uh, a few phone stands, and a car mount with a suction cup and a car power adapter. And all of them have magnets on them so that your phone can stay on the pad and be rotated however which way you want, and it'll stay on there. Now because this is Patriot's own thing, the Fuel Ion line, you will need a case compatible with their magnetic charging service. Now they have cases for the iPhone 5 slash 5S and the Samsung Galaxy S4, although they also sent us one that's apparently for the Note 3, but it's not listed on their site, so I guess this is coming out at some point as well. With the iPhone case, you slide the tab down at the bottom, stick your phone in, and lock that back up so the connector goes into the lightning port, and you're good to go. You can use it with uh, any of their magnetic charging surfaces. Now with the Samsung phone case, you will actually have to remove the back cover of the phone so that the contacts on the case can touch the contacts on the back of the phone near the battery under the cover. Which means, yes, you will have to have this on all the time uh, unless you want to carry around your back cover in your pocket and swap them out or whatever. 
And they are pretty sturdy cases, so that may only bother you if you like to take your phone out of your case all the time. I mean, I, for instance, have an OtterBox and I just leave it on, so that's, that's why I got an OtterBox. Besides being faster, Patriot's method also solves the problem of positioning your phone correctly on the charging pad. And with key charging, you have to place it in the right spot, and if it slides over or something, the connection can break. Whereas the magnets on the Ion products make sure you're locked in because it can only, it sticks. That being said, Qi charging is becoming close to ubiquitous at this point. There's even PC cases with it built into the top panel like Zygmatex Midgard case. So it's up to you which one you want to go with. Or if you want wireless charging at all, maybe you're like, screw this fancy wireless nonsense, I like my cords just fine. And to you I say, that's your opinion. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you feel like it, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.